It is now my pleasure and privilege to invite the Honorable Minister to address all of you. Please welcome Shri Vipul Goyalji. I have seen that I have seen that I have seen that the drinkable water and the water recharge, the water table, 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 the events, awards, ceremonies, if they will be happening, they will be told that what they are doing, that they are doing, that they are not putting a water treatment plant, that they are not putting zero liquid discharge, that they are working in which way they are working with the environment and the generation of the ground water. That they are doing some water, which is wasting a lot of water daily, that people are wasting a lot of water daily, उसे ट्रीट ना करके लेकिन उसको जब वो ग्राउंड वाटर के अंदर ग्राउंड के अंदर डालते हैं उसे कितना बड़ा नुकसान वो और फ्यूचर के लिए भी कर रहे हैं तो इस सब के लिए इस तरीके के अगर अवार्ड इस तरीके के अवेयरनेस प्रोग्राम्स चलते रहेंगे और इसकी इम्पोर्टेंस हम लोगों तक पहुंचाते रहेंगे तो और आप लोग तो सब यहाँ पर बड़े बड़े इंस्टीट्यूशन से आए हुए हैं जो इसके बारे में वाटर ट्रीटमेंट के बारे में वाटर प्योरीफाई के बारे में बड़ी बड़ी जो टेक्नोलॉजीज हैं उस पर भी बात करते हैं तो इसी के लिए मैं आज यहाँ बुलाने पर बहुत-बहुत धन्यवाद करूँगा इस ऑर्गेनाइजिंग टीम का और आप सब लोगों का थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच। Days to come, we will continue our quest to create more awareness about the most essential commodity, which is water. We will strive to be a strong and important connect between government organisations and private players. We look forward to your continued patronage, love and trust and with the able guidance of our Editor-in-Chief Shri A.B. Pandya, our advisory board members and our associate partners, we will make sure we meet the high expectations set, to, set for Water Digest. The water treatment industry is performing a very, very important function of bringing in new technologies, reducing the cost of available technologies so that we are able to achieve this goal of becoming a Swachh Bharat in the true sense and a Swachh water country. Because in our country, being a tropical country, we are not endowed with a very steady supply of water. We have very sporadic supply of water in terms of monsoons. And unless we use this water in a very judicious manner and we use every drop of water which we cannot do unless we look at our wastewater and recycle and reuse. So from this point of view it's a very apt moment that here we will be able to recognize and honor a number of our very valuable part partners who have been able to do a excellent service in the, in the water sector. The UNESCO has been working in this field for a long time, since its inception of 1948. The water issue is much, much becoming serious in coming years. That is the UNESCO recognition. But this is not the issue of the government alone, private companies alone, individual alone or UN agencies alone. This is the issue to be addressed together. And with this spirit, UNESCO has been working with a lot of agencies, government sectors, to secure how we can secure the clean and affordable drinking water and how we can manage the limited the water resources, fresh water resources at the global level. More than 65% of India workforce is dedicating itself to working the land. And we, we all need water to plant our uh, flowers and our crops. Uh, Israel was able, together with India, to find solutions here and back home to better the, the efficiency of water use. The essence of Prime Minister a Modi a, a reform of more drop per crop 
is really being manifested in their cooperation between Israel and India on a daily basis, whether it's Maharashtra, down south and Gujarat, and even in the state of the Honorable uh, Minister from Ariana, we have a few projects that we are cultivating the land, Israelis and Ariana farmers cultivating the lands together, utilizing this drip irrigation solution to have better yield and to have better efficiency of our water. I think Honorable Minister is here, the Honorable Justice is here, and most of the learned people of this society and the industry are seated here. We need to be thinking, perhaps we have to be seriously debating that should we need a rethinking on the flood management policy of, of, the, chamber, of the country. B, should we not be encouraging the corporate India and incentivizing them to be coming and participating in this kind of, in this kind of a scenario? Should we not make a, it mandatory that we should have a, compulsorily we should make it through law for the high-rise building as well as for the smart city that are in the offing to recycle the waste water so that we save both the water as well as the electricity. We worship nature in the form of worshiping the river, the water of the river in Ganges and in other rivers as well at places like Haridwar, Rishikesh, Varanasi. And the same people who worship rivers, who worship nature, is destroying nature by putting filth in the river, by cutting the trees, by cutting the earth. So this, I believe, may be due to various reasons, lack of knowledge, lack of awareness, but mainly due to the influx and growth of population. And I believe that unless we are aware at this point of time about the necessity to preserve nature, to upgrade nature, which we find being degraded, we will be in difficulty in the coming years. 35 years ago when we came into the field, there was not at all any awareness in the water as, as far as water is concerned. The people, they were not knowing, not knowing the importance of the water. Water digestion is certainly doing a good job and I appreciate for that. With the industrialization, with the urbanization and with a lot of uh, uh, contamination in the water, uh, it becomes more more uh, important and more more, uh, you know, vigilant that we should have some solutions available so that the current generation and the future generations shouldn't face a safe and pure drinking water available to them. Country certainly requires the best water treatment right now. We need to conserve our very, very extremely precious resource. So technology is in water, wastewater side. And I'm seeing more and more awareness and Water Digest is doing a great job. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? The first category for this evening, ladies and gentlemen, is Best Water Reuse Project of the Year. The winner, ladies and gentlemen, is Bharat Aluminium Company Limited. Ladies and gentlemen, to the next award for best water management in power generation. And the winner, ladies and gentlemen, is NHPC Limited. Now we move to the third award this evening. The category is Best Water Management Municipal Corporation. And ladies and gentlemen, the winner is 
Surat Municipal Corporation. Our next category, ladies and gentlemen, is Best Water Supply Municipal Corporation. And the winner, ladies and gentlemen, is Nandir Vagla City Municipal Corporation. And we're proud to announce that they're also winners in the best STP category as well. So they're accepting two awards. Ladies and gentlemen, the next category is Public Water Agency of the Year. And the winner is Delhi Jal Board. The next category, ladies and gentlemen, best domestic water purifier. That's best RO plus UV plus UF. The winner is Ken Superb. The Excellence Award for Best Sustainable Water Management. And the winner is Hindustan Zinc Limited. Ladies and gentlemen, the next award is for Best Water Management Public Sector and the winner is Janor Gandhar Gas Power Plant, Unit of NTPC. Moving on, the category is Best Water Treatment Components Domestic. And the award goes to Aquanomic Systems Limited. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the next category is Excellence Award for Best CSR in Water Sector. And the winner is VA Tech Baba. <music> Moving on to the next category, Best Water NGO Water Education. And the winner is Govardhan Eco Village. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, Best Community Project of the Year, and the award goes to Clean Flow India Private Limited. <music> ladies and gentlemen, the next award is for Best Domestic Water Purifier, RO plus UV, and the winner is Blue Star Limited. Ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to our next category, Best Consultancy. And the winner, ladies and gentlemen, is Wapcos Limited. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the Best Rural Drinking Water Solution Provider. And the award goes to Larson and Tubro.
ladies and gentlemen, is best complete domestic water management solutions provider, domestic and institutions. And the winner is, ladies and gentlemen, Zero B by Iron Exchange India. of by Water Digest to acknowledge an individual who is well respected in the water industry and has given shape to many ideas and thoughts connected to the water industry. A thought leader and a torch bearer for the water industry people. I request Mr. Ashwin Pandya to please accept the honor for the Water Icon of the Year from the Honorable Minister and the Honorable Justice. The next category, ladies and gentlemen, is Upcoming Water Purifier. And the winner is Bluebird Water Purifiers. They're also the winners in the category of Best Water Treatment Systems Softeners. Next category, which is for Best Storage Tanks Manufacturer Water Segment, and the winner is Shubham Aqualink India Private Limited. The next award this evening, ladies and gentlemen, goes to the best membrane manufacturer, and the award goes to Vontron Technology Company Limited. on best complete domestic water management solutions provider drinking and the award goes to Larson and Tubro Limited water and effluent treatment IC the next award ladies and gentlemen the water digest leadership excellence award and the person who is truly deserving of this honour is Mr. Ranganath N.K., the MD of Grunforce, India. Unfortunately, he is not present with us today to receive the award. So may I request Mr. K. Chaturvedi, HOD Engineering, to please accept the award on Mr. Ranganath's behalf. The next category is Best Water Treatment Chemicals and the winner is Iron Exchange. <music> Ladies and gentlemen, this category has another winner and this commendable winner, ladies and gentlemen, is Braqua Chems. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the award for Best Innovative Solution Provider in Leak Detection and Reduction of Water Loss. And the winner is Gutterman. The next award, ladies and gentlemen, is Best Water NGO, Revival of Rural Water Resources. And the winner is the Brudge Foundation. We now move on to the next award, Best NGO Water Sanitation. And the winner is should the NGO big round of applause ladies and gentlemen
And now, ladies and gentlemen, we have the best water RWA water harvesting. And the award goes to Burma Shell Cooperative Housing Society Limited, Aradna Colony. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, best water pumps domestic goes to LexCrew Water Tech Private Limited. The next award is Made in India, the best membrane, which also goes to LexCrew Water Tech Private Limited. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, to the best technology of the year, ladies and gentlemen, and the winner is VA Tech Waba. The next award, ladies and gentlemen, made in India, best water company, public sector. And the award goes to Webcast Limited. We move on to the next award, ladies and gentlemen. Made in India, best water company, private sector. And like the end of any blockbuster film this one has some excitement in the end because there's a tie the leading players of the water industry together at the same platform for the same category ladies and gentlemen the winners are iron exchange and larson and tubro Once again, a big round of applause for Iron Exchange and Larson and Tudro. On behalf of the entire team of Water Digest, I once again thank our honorable chief guest, all our guests of honor, UN Water, UNESCO, ASOCHAM, Times Network, Central Water Commission, Central Ground Water Board, National Water Development Agency for supporting the event, our associate partners, NSF and WAPCOS, our esteemed jury members, the participants for their overwhelming response, television partner ET Now, and all of you lovely people for sharing this special evening with us. It has been indeed a wonderful evening. Thank you so much for being a part of the celebrations and making it even more memorable. Here's to innovation evermore and here's to Water Digest forevermore.